Hi everyone and welcome to another ITS video. In this video I'll explain some of the features of the online quiz using the practice quiz as an example. The online quiz has been designed to replace the traditional written student assessment. However, the option of completing a written student assessment instead of the online quiz is still available to you. For information on how to access and complete the written student assessment rather than the online quiz, please refer to the welcome email you just received when you enrolled. This video will walk you through the practice quiz. There are two main reasons we ask each learner to complete the practice quiz prior to attempting the first topic. The first reason is so that you can unlock and gain access to the first topic you're required to complete. The second reason we ask you to complete the practice quiz is to provide you with an overall feeling of how the quiz in your course actually works. Most people assume that the online quizzes are difficult to use and navigate. However, in reality, they are visually clean and simple in appearance and are quick and easy to navigate through. Plus, you have the added bonus of having your answers corrected as you complete them, providing you with an instant pass or fail result, eliminating the need for a trainer to review your answers first and then provide you with feedback. So let's get started. In order to locate the practice quiz, you'll need to scroll down through the section titled Induction into Intelligent Training Solution. By now you have noticed that each topic or section is divided by three dotted lines as seen here. Once you have navigated your way down to the appropriate section titled Induction to Intelligent Training Solutions, you will see two headings. To keep it simple, we have placed the practice quiz under the self-titled heading Practice Quiz. To open the quiz, simply click on the quiz link. In this case, we are clicking on the link titled HLT AID 003 Practice Quiz. Once opened, you will see a similar version of the following screen. The, following, the information on the following page may include a description of the quiz, the number of attempts you will be allowed for this quiz, and some sort of return to course button. Each of the ITS courses in the ITS product range have their quizzes visually displayed or set up in a slightly different way. So it's a bit difficult for me to provide you with an exact visual representation of the page. However, you can feel comfortable with the knowledge that regardless of how the page is visually presented to you, each course and quiz will have the exact same features available to you. With regard to the number of attempts allowed for the online quiz, please note that the student portal may require you to wait anywhere between one to five minutes before re-attempting a quiz. This time delay is built into the quiz itself so that to provide you with an opportunity to revisit the training materials associated with this quiz prior to re-attempting. Remember, the idea is that you have learnt and understood the learning materials, not to keep answering the questions until you got them right. Okay. To start the quiz, we need to click on the Attempt Quiz Now button as shown here. Once clicked, you'll be prompted with a system message reminding you of the number of attempts you are allowed. You will also be prompted for a decision to proceed or not. To proceed, simply click the Start Attempt button. Next, you'll be taken to the quiz itself and ready to start. Generally speaking, each question will be presented to you on its own page. To proceed, simply select the answer followed by clicking the next button located at the bottom of the screen. You may also notice that there, that there is a menu block titled Quiz Navigation. This is located on the top right hand side of your screen. This menu block will provide you with information such as the number of questions within the quiz and, once you have formally submitted your answers, provide you with information on whether or not you have answered each question correctly. Once you have completed all the questions within the quiz, you'll be provided with two buttons. The first is a return to attempt button. This allows you to return to the questions and change your answers. The second is a submit all and finish button. Once you are happy with your attempt at the quiz, click the submit all and finish button. You will then be presented with a system message asking you to confirm that you have finished with this particular attempt. If you are certain that you have answered all the questions to the best of your ability, then go ahead and click the Submit All and Finish button once again. At this point in the process, the system will grade your answers and provide you with your results and any relevant feedback. You will also notice that the menu block located on the top right hand side will now also identify which questions you got right and which questions were incorrect. It does this by colour coding the questions. Red highlighter boxes indicate an incorrect answer, where green boxes indicate you've answered a question correctly. 
Once you have completed reviewing your results, simply click the Finish Review link located at the bottom left hand side of the screen. Depending on your screen size, you may need to scroll down to see this link. You will then be taken to an overall summary page with the two buttons. If you have been unsuccessful, you will need to reattempt the quiz. You can do this by clicking the reattempt quiz button and repeating the above procedure. If your assessment attempt was successful, then you can go ahead and click the back to course button. Once you are ready and have clicked the back to course button, you will be taken back to the home page of your course. To continue with the next topic or selection, simply scroll down. You will notice that every time you successfully complete a quiz, a new section or topic of the course will be unlocked and made available to you. Well, that's it for me for this video. I hope you found this information useful as you attempt your online course. I wish you the best of luck with your course and remind you that if you need any assistance, please use our student support feature located in the top blue menu bar.